What's up in Fluxers? Today I wanna to review a website of a product designer called Moritz. I think he has an awesome website and there's a lot of things to learn from it. Even I can take points from what he did there. So let's dive into it and see what he did. So basically, this is the website of Moritz. Um, it starts off with a section about who he is with an image and a little bit of text. Hi, I'm Moritz, product UX designer with five years of experience. Now, I've mentioned this so many times when people have websites or portfolios, it lacks personality. You don't know who you are. You don't know where you got to. So here, first thing that you see, you can see who he is and you can see some info about him. Also, not worth mentioning, he has the email right here. It's clickable, but you can also just see the email and copy it. So many people don't have the email just you know very very simple very very visible right from the top and this is important because at the end of it your website you know the goal of it is to have people contact you so put the contact information make it visible now let's get down to the work so the work here um, basically there are only three projects and note that when you go down you can see what he did so in this case facilitation web design branding it has some kind of an intro about what he did uh, note that it's not the name of the project it's not the name of the client but it's actually the value that he did for them so building a website through fast-paced workshop and it is a case study now before i even click on it i want to talk about positioning because positioning is so important you know how you are with the expectation that you set with your potential customers or clients so when you say portfolio the uh, what they understand is they're going to see deliverables they're going to see images and stuff that you did which is okay you're a designer you make deliverables but when you want to move higher in and position yourself as a consultant and when you are a product designer and a lot of times user experience designer the value of the work that you do is not just in the deliverable in the pixels that are nicely arranged you know a lot of people can do nice pixels but not a lot of people can understand how to create great user experiences show the whole process when you're saying this is a case study and i'm going to show you the process it sets you up it sets the expectation that this is going to be a consultant somebody that the value of their work is in their thinking and their process and not just makes beautiful deliverables so i think this is really really key to note so let's see a case study so uh, kind of looks like I would say a medium post and it starts off with setting the expectation what sector this is what was the challenge the role and how long the project was so again this is great a lot of pro clients would like to know how long it would take to create this kind of project so detailing everything about the project up front I think is super great idea so now he kind of it's a lot of text obviously because it's the case study showing some of the deliverables and also a lot of the process so again this is a really long case study some of the references but one thing that you want to mention that even though most of it is textual you have those sliding animations so even this website is well designed which is important you know a lot of times i'm going into people and right now I'm actually interviewing so I'm in the process of seeing lots of portfolios so you see portfolios of user experience designers the user experience of their website is crap so here you can feel that it's nicely designed and great experience just browsing here so let's go down here's the actual design at the end of it so note that the 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 end result is not the, the primary focus of this there's a conclusion and Oh note here it says back to portfolio overview. So I would I would change this to back to homepage or something. This is just not consistent with the, the other positioning. Um, again here, let's see this. This is an app design, basically structured the same. Very nice uh, breakdown of sections using colors and also great. This is the insights from interviews. So again, a lot of focus on the process, creating the personas. He's even allowing you to download the personas as PDF, showing the structure. This is actually such a solid work that I would actually consider working with Moritz myself. This is just like, that looks like a pro. So now they're just getting to the style guide. So many people focus on the style guide, but this is just at the bottom and 
now you can see how this is applied. Also, A-B testing, so important to see that this was actually a real project and was A-B tested and stuff like that. Okay, great. So I think, and the last thing that you should note is that there is only three projects here, which I think is also important. A lot of people try to cram every project that they did into their website. And what Moritz did here is he did a curation. You know, there's only three projects, but each one goes so much in depth that it really, really convinces you that he's a pro, he knows what he's doing, and he might be able to do good work. So I think this is a great, great example of a personal website, portfolio website. And I think like a few more things that could have helped, even though, again, I think I can take a lot of ideas from this, is maybe uh, testimonials from clients at the end of each, uh, each case study to show that they enjoyed working with you and they recommend you. And maybe at the end, like a strong call to action, let's work together or something. Because right now it's just you get to the end of the case study and there's nothing there. Nothing leads you to move into the next one or you know contact you or anything. So those are kind of my ideas of how to improve this. But overall, I think it's a wonderful website. Great design, Moritz. Um, yeah, and, and that's it. You can learn a lot from it. One tiny last thing regarding portfolios and website, just because I'm seeing so many of them. So many people, either they're building their website on, on Wix or Webflow or whatnot, they don't even bother buying the domain. So please, please, it just shows such a lack of you know, professionalism, not even getting your own domain for yourself. So please do yourself a favor, pay for that domain, pay for the hosting, but be professional. Have an awesome day, I'll catch you tomorrow.